This short tutorial is to help you get started in using Google Sites for your electronic portfolio. So I'm just going to start by showing you the existing example that I created so you have an idea of what the outcome will be. So this is the main title, this is the little title, and right here I have created some pages that you can click around on. And the about me, uh, I just put little brief things about myself and added some pictures. And you can do something that's this elaborate, or you can do a little less than that. You don't have to write as much, but it is nice to have a little about me in there. And then I would suggest adding a page that is for this school year's projects, because I would hope that you would continue to add to this as we spend our years together. And in these, you'll notice I put a title, a description, and what I learned. Once again, you don't have to put as much as I did, but these are just examples, so you have something to kind of go by and build off of. And then I also added another page that is personal projects. Some of us really like to make art in our spare time, so this is a really good place to showcase things that you have done outside of the classroom. And then lastly, I also added a page on what inspires me as an artist. So I included a link right here, if you click on this, to a Pinterest board of things that inspire me. And then um, an article that I read that I thought was interesting that had some good points. And then I also added a fun picture. So these things you can explore on your own. Um, I'm going to add this link to your Google Classroom so you can check all this out on your own. But just so you know what happens when you click, it goes to my Pinterest and my board that I have a collection of things that inspire me. So you could do pictures or you could add a link like this. It is entirely up to you. And then keep in mind these pages that I created, um, really the ones that I would really, really like for you to do are at least these three about me, um, this year's projects, and then maybe some personal projects. So you can design this how you choose. Okay, so to get started, to find Google Sites, sometimes this doesn't show up. So if it's not right here in your little waffle that you click on, then you can also search it on Google too. So you can just type in Google Sites. And you can just go to new Google site. And it's going to bring up this page. Yours will probably be blank unless you've used this before. And down here you click a little plus, much like many other parts of Google, to create a new one. And you're going to get this kind of blank type slate of a web page that you can make modifications to. Okay, we finally loaded. Okay, so right here is the little mini title. So I'll show you kind of the before and after. This is Studry's example. And then I could maybe put Mrs. Studry's example ePortfolio. You decide how you want to title those. But when you're done, so it kind of shows up a little like this for the small one. And then right here for the larger one. So I would like you to think about a title right now and then start kind of hovering over areas where you might be able to make some changes and then kind of inspect some of these areas and click around and see what you can find. And we will continue in another tutorial.